right. So today's news on the DC um, games and stuff that I like. Uh, latest news here it says episode 48 Harley Quinn vs. Apocalypse is here point number one that's really bugging me about this Harley Quinn is Harley Quinn in the the how do I just how do I describe the other game without saying those words uh, you're not allowed to use trigger words um, get rid of the Justice League. Yeah, the the game is get rid of the Justice League. Uh, that team get rid of the Justice League. Um, <clears throat> so the the bad squad, the bad villain squad, that wants to get rid of the Justice League, and Harley Quinn's always the front of it. And they're obsessed with this. And I looked it up. They're M eight months behind, I think, from Reddit. So, I looked it up on the Google to why why Warner Brothers keep putting this Harley Quinn into everything. Okay, it makes total sense from a selling perspective, right? From a selling perspective of merchandise, uh, whatever Harley Quinn uses and stuff like that there. Yes, makes sense. 100%, I get the merchandise thing. I get the promotional thing. I get the thing, Harley Quinn. But what I don't get... As a, as, a, as a man and a human being and from a logical perspective is why make her ugly? Why not give her a big friggin' ass and big pair of boobas and just be done with it? Let her run about there with the hourglass shape and don't be giving her big chins or flat bodies and old new or old uniforms or whatever. I don't get that bit. I just don't get that bit. I don't get if he she sells. If she's your selling, her, your your main seller. The only thing that I can think of when you're trying to sell her is that you're not trying to sell her. That's the only thing I I don't get. So you get Harley Quinn, right? The most iconic character that you want to sell, and then you're gonna flatten her into a into an iron board. Make her ugly and put her on a game that nobody likes. Genius. Absolutely. Uh, and push it out to the masses that don't want it. Because that sells. That clearly sells. I think that their game was shut down as well. The bad squad, wasn't it? Now, from a from a selling point of view, you've got a lot of views, a lot of controversy. Is it shut down? When was that? Right there, there, there right. The Get Rid of the Justice League was released in PlayStation 5, Windows and Xbox Series X and S on February 2nd, 2024. Which I predicted, and everybody knew, that it wasn't going to work. But, Harley Quinn's in it? Harley Quinn's in it? Harley Quinn's in it? Harley Quinn! Right? The game received mixed reviews from critics. Mixed reviews? Yeah, okay. Who praised its story and gameplay? Did they? Of course they praised it because they're they're trying to stay on the good side. Yeah, go figure, eh? But criticised its re repetition. Oh, it was too repetitive. Oh yes, it, like um, Apex Legends isn't repetitive. Call of Duty isn't repetitive. Um, what's the other ones? Space Marine too, repetitive. Warframe, repetitive. Uh, what other games are repetitive to play? Aliens Fireteam Elite, repetitive. Uh, Doom, repetitive. Quake, repetitive. Uh, There's quite a lot of repetitive games. But they were successful. And the, and the live service elements. Oh, 
that's what was wrong with the live service element. Uh-huh. So, is Wukong, Black with Wukong a uh, live service? I think it is, actually. Um, Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, I think it's a live service, too. Um, Geshin Impact? It's a live service. Warframe? It's a, it's a live service. Got 25,000 players or more? On an average? The game failed to meet the sales expectation of Warner Brothers games. What a shocker. When was that wrote? That was on Wikipedia. Made it to Wikipedia. Okay. So, I still don't get... I, I'm just too stupid. I'm just too dumb. I'm just too too much of, a, of an idiot. Just too much of an idiot. To understand why you can't... Getting Harley Quinn, right? And we're ruining her. And not getting any seals. And then you just wonder why she do it doesn't work. Absolute geniuses. They must be, they must be big brained. Like that, they're, like that wee episode, uh, what was it on? Uh, they have on YouTube become a big brains. These big, 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 big brains, big seals brains. Get Harley Quinn, our most sealed asset, our most selling point of, of, DC, no other, no Wonder Woman, no uh, Big Barda, no, uh, what other ones? Is Black Canary, uh, Catwoman, uh, no, none of these other women exist. What? Uh, Supergirl, uh, Wonder Woman, Power Girl, uh, oh, suppose, uh, so all them are all, sup oh, they're good guys. That's where I'm going wrong. Where's the bad guy women? Bad guy women. A poison ivy, she's always... Uh, well, they're bad girl women, is there? Villains. Female villains. Right? I'll just uh, give me a recap. In DC. Oh, Catwoman, I did say Catwoman. Entrantress. Cheetah, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn. Ah, I come from uh, Raja Ghoul's daughter. Taylor, is that her name? Gigantica. Lewis Lane is a female villain. Okay. Uh, Livewire, Magpie. Uh, Fatality. Cersei? There's a few. Enchantress, as I say. Where's your girl's daughter? Killer Frost. They're all in this game. In fact, they're all in this game. What a shock. What a shocker they're in this game. Right, so we'll carry on reading. In celebration of this release, and for a limited time, log in. Okay, play the game. I would advise anybody to play the game. It's great. It is a big money grabber, like. That's what all this is. Featured in the market. For a free character boost, skip to uh, combat rating 368. This offer is valid through to through October 14th, 2024. Follow the adventures of Harley Quinn as she she's recruited into the female Furies. Earned uh, earned Connie coins to get. Brand new rewards by playing the following new content. New open world missions, apocalyptic gothic or Gotham City, new solo, new Genesis Under City, new alert, clock tower, and new raid subject car uh, construction site. Also, take advantage of the 20% off sale between September 24th and September 30th on the brand new Apocalyptian o Overlord time capsule. Now, I'm not smart enough to know what the time how the time capsules work. Maybe somebody would talk to me. Maybe they would have some sort of information of what's going on in this fucking game. Probably won't. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get my daily reward. There's a feature down there at the bottom. What's it trying to tell me? Let's just join into this. Okay. So, at the minute, what I'm personally trying to do is... Fix my backspace for a start, but I would like to be able to get into the game 
what do you call it, um, and finish off all my quests, which I did in World of Warcraft, was the same thing. I used to tidy up my quest log, then go on to the, the further content, the, the future content. Consumable, consumable XP boost. Doesn't ever use it. What? Go. Where do my abilities go? I see it. I see it. I know it exists. I'm well aware of it. Okay? I'm well aware you want to sell me stuff. I have no money. Right, my abilities. A and then press A. Okay. Now I put that on, then I go to... That back on. It gets me in the lower space. I don't know what these time capsules are. Overlord time capsule. Do I have to, how, how do I use them? What do I do with them? Scroll up and down. Booster gold, fill the capsule full of items for various times and places within the multiverse. It has the possibility to contain items such as different packs. Okay. Open multiple capsules to receive the following rewards in your mailbox. 15 capsules, insect champion mask. Time capsules are loot boxes that offer the player the ability to choose one of the three rewards and also grant one additional reward. The rewards from time capsules can be style items, gear pieces, collection pieces and supplies. These are the pro probabilities of receiving rewards and the rarity so it's a relic. That's what I was wondering. Right. So stabilizers are keys you needed to open time capsules, loot boxes that offer the player an ability to choose one of the three rewards and also grant one additional reward. Stabilizers can be earned in game or purchased in the marketplace. The rewards from time capsules can be style. Items, gear, pieces, yes, yes. See below the rarity. This special type, this pro the probabilities of receiving, and that. Right, so stabilizer are keys needed to open time capsules. So how do I get stabilizers? And back over to check out DC Universe Online. How to collect stabilizers. Somebody else has already asked. There are two ways of obtaining purchasing one from the marketplace for a hundred day break cash or marketplace cash console. Or putting one together through gameplay. When you purchase this it doesn't say where. It just says putting one together through gameplay. When you purchase a whole stabilizer from the marketplace you can use it right away. How many stabilizers Sir, fragments can you get in DC Online? 15 stabilizer fragments will automatically combine to form a stabilizer. Ways to get stabilizers. Getting the fragments will be slow process. Okay. They only take credit cards, no cash, and I don't know about PayPal. Maybe so source. Uh, but I don't know why any other way you get them the members are getting a bit more. So it's a lie. Is it a lie that you can't that was twenty nineteen? Is that what you're telling me? There's no such thing as stabilizers? How to get free stabilizers? Let's see what it says on this video. Oh getting bashed with the adverts. Beat over the head. There's that game, Death Sprint 66, it's pretty good. Right, hold on. 
Where's this mission? Stabilizer fragmentation mission? Where's that? Where's it? Oh, this? Right. Solo. Let's have a go. Run it three times for set of fifteen. I get it. Get fifteen stabilizers. All right, let's see. My name is Amanda Waller, and as tough as you think you are. I'm tougher. You're tougher? Tougher, tougher? Tougher, tougher. Up and at him, pipsqueaks. We're not running a bed and brushes here. Walla wants to know which of you suckers is worth the ground you're walking on. the good guy you seem to always get treated like the bad guy.
Who's this? Probably the one. Look, it's called the Suicide Squad. That's as much praise as you're going to get from me. She said it? Aha. Uh -huh. Trinket. Sure. Street sign. Floor grid. A lot of resources that are sitting in your bag, the waste space. So that was that. Now the other thing is, after being in the right Harley Quinn, being in everything and then them ruining her, uh, with her being in this, it's a teleporter. Colors don't match him because try copying Dr. Fate there. It's not working. Uh, red's too much. It's, it's a whole red thing with the Superman, red and blue and all.
That looks nice. Maybe ch I would change it to red, no? Instead of black? I don't know. Go to Apocalyptic Gotham. Continue mission. Uh, so now I know that. The other one is... Uh, Rajel has come out. Uh, a remaster. I'll pin the video. The trailer. But it's only coming out on PS4 and PS5. They released it yesterday. The remaster. Me personally, as a Legacy of Kane fan, uh, my personal opinion, I'm not. I don't think it's worth it. They're gonna, they're gonna charge you whatever the price is gonna be, forty, eighty, seventy, hundred and twenty. Who fucking knows? Whatever they feel like, um, just pick a number, and they're gonna charge you for. The game, right? Obviously. And because of the fact that it came out on... wasn't the remaster, it was the original came out in that... What's that link I have? The, there's guys that do older games, retro games. And they didn't like that, the fact that that came out, so they released this. The remaster, just to add to the to the hype or get on the bandwagon and all that's my personal opinion for the Soul Reaver thing uh, Arc is it Arcade Games not Arcade Games what do you call it um, and we go to the link I actually promote them I don't mind like I think they're worth Let me see. Where's the link? Additional links at the bottom there. For the Streamlabs link space, right? When you go to it, the bottom, and it should be in here. No? I thought I had them. Oh, Retro Realms. Retro Realms. That's it. Evercade. So Evercade came up with... Th they have their own gaming console with, with a handheld. And they come out with cartridges. And... You can buy Duke Nukem there, at the minute. Uh, they came out with Soul Reaver. They have... What's that there? Thalamus. Tomb Raiders. Uh cartridges so let's see what games there is and Soul Reaver should be available yeah there's it there released on the 30th of the 9th so they've even put the date on it Legacy of Cain collection you can buy on Evercade it came out there like I thought it was released earlier than that last month yeah, so you can get all them from the link on Retro Retro Realm Evercade. Okay? Evercade games. Um They have their own hardware. They have a console as well that you can you can get as well, compatible with other devices. Multiple devices. But because that came out Crystal Dynamics or whoever fucking owns it now, you know or Silicon Knights, or got on the bandwagon, what is it, um, is it EA? I can't remember who it is, but somebody owns it, and they went, <gasps> there's Legacy Kings popped up, it's got a bit of a fucking hype, get on the bandwagon, remaster out, fucking charge him through the teeth, through the arsehole for it, and that's my personal opinion. I don't think it's worth the money of whatever you're spending, I think it's uh, a bullshit scam, as usual, but 
this is the world we live in, this is this, the economy we live in, the system or whatever you want to call it, that's what it's about. And I say fair play to them at the same time, you know, I don't like what you do but I'll defend you for doing it. Um, and they're doing it and it's because of this I would say that it came out and now they're all of a sudden getting on the bandwagon. Now, for the remaster itself as the game, I would recommend just going looking for the original. If you can play it on a device or a laptop or whatever, or your PC or whatever it is. Just get the fucking original, it's a lot cheaper. You'll get the game, you'll get it on eBay or whatever, and fucking buy it there. You know, and you'll have a far better experience with that than you will with the remaster. I would say, uh, now this is a far-fetched opinion of mine, if you're going to get Legacy of Kain remastered for Soul Reaver, there's probably going to be glitches in it. Um, and a, a day one patch, and an online service, and all the bullshit fucking shit dumped into it, and you'll pay for it. But I could be wrong, we'll see. That's the other latest news as well. But the Evercade one, if you're really stuck and you, you can't get the, the PlayStation console or whatever for the, the game to play it, have we look at Arcades or Evercade and see if you can work out something with the money there. Let me see the prices of these things. So Legacy of Cain, um original. You get two games in one in that even. You get the Legacy of Cain Blood and One and Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. You don't get Soul Reaver 2 now, you only get Soul Reaver 1 and Blood Omen 1. But there's a Blood Omen 2. But they're only releasing Soul Reaver. What remaster is it? That's a good question. Uh, remastered 1 and 2. Soul Reaver 1 and 2 is remastered. So when you go to Evercade, you get Blood Omen 1 and Blood Omen or Soul Reaver 1. And there's a Blood Omen 2 and a Soul Reaver 2. So. Uh, where to buy um, how much is it to buy for that is that they're hiding the they're hiding the price there so they are in this one uh, Amazon Argos we'll go to fucking Amazon I suppose because except oh, on Amazon it's 2249 for the game, for just the cartridge. They have the links there, or if I want to buy, what if I want to buy the hardware? What's an alpha? Let's see what an alpha, Evercade alpha. It's a small, it's a small arcade system. E e EXP, oh, lovely prices. You hear these, 99.99. Just under a hundred pounds, or a hundred dollars, or a hundred nineteen ninety-nine euros for a Evercade EXPR. Sounds lovely, because everybody can afford that. Or you can get the Evercade VSR, which is like a console system, and it's eighty-nine ninety-nine, ninety pounds, just under ninety pounds. Or a hundred dollars again, or a hundred nine ninety nine euros. Lovely, so cheap. Yeah, well, there you have it. As usual, it's a it's a fuck you from society and um, the economy. It's a what's that you can't afford it? Oh well, shit, one for you. Go fuck yourself. Um, so, and then you're... Well, anyway, if you're going to spend money on the fucking uh, remaster, that's what you're going to be paying anyway. You'll probably be paying $69.99. Just under $70. Or £70, or whatever it is. For an extra $10 or pounds, which nobody has anyway. But, but I don't have... I don't have any of that type of money. You... You could buy a console and get the original. Get the 
uh, the re retro version. Not that anybody's going to do that either way. And it'll probably be on the PS4 or PS5 anyway. You, you download the game and then some years down the line you'll, you'll realise in your library that it's gone and you'll forgot all about it. You know? Good luck with that. Now, I don't want to be shitting on Soul Reaver, but it, it, it's corporatism at its fucking finest, and it's, it's, that's what the reality is. We live in a fucking... Creativity doesn't count. Creativity is a, is a, an old myth. It's an old backstory of, oh, we, we pulled ourselves up by our bootstraps, and we were drawing pictures out of our fucking arsehole, and we had to stick the pencil in our nose. To draw the pictures, and and uh, then we were sailing up the hill with the, with the the fucking drawing pads, with the pencils up our nose, trying to fucking make money. That's the fucking reality, and it's like, aye, whatever. Let's get back to the missions. Creativity doesn't count. That's Apocalypse. Check in with Catwoman in Apocalypse City. That's why you have to pay for it. Right. I am in Gotham. It's got nothing to do with that right now. Or maybe I should. Is that only two? No, it wants me to keep repeating. What's the other one? The clock tower one? Uh, custom play raids. Ah, uh, that's why. Ah. Uh. So, Batcave, Arkham Island, Batman. Bloodhaven. Central City. Got a quite a lot to do there. Chinatown. Don't get me wrong, like when it comes to money, everybody likes money. We're all into money. But uh, what I will point out is live, look, look at Idiocracy the film. Like, we are living that right now. We are living idiocracy. It's not it's not a dump yet, but it will be. Um, our politicians will be fucking morons. Um, we'll all sit and go, we don't understand how to put blocks, the square blocks, into the square hole anymore. We'll, we'll never be part of the fucking clubs, the, the elite clubs or whatever and all. We'll, you're, you're just a fucking bum. And... You're just going to work a factory until you die. And that's it. That's what they want. And slowly but surely, they will eat away ourselves. This is hilarity because there'll be a person working in HR. And there'll be a person working in sales. And there'll be a person working in whatever department or whatever fucking factory or whatever it is. And this person will be sitting working out going... Their, their job, their actual job, right? Is to work out how they can shave off... Right, for the boss, for the owner, the CEO of the company or whatever, or the elites or whatever. Their job for the HR is to shave, sh literally shave, like on the cheese, with a razor blade. Shave off pennies, absolute pennies from wages, pennies. And that w that's, their jo th that's what's happening right now, they're shaving third person then HR or accountants or whatever it is it's probably the accountants are sitting going oh there's Johnny uh, shave 5p and that's what they're doing and there's there's Sally shave 3p and then there's uh, Tommy shave 3p and that's what their job is all day the accountants to sit there and shave 
penny pinch, penny pinching, to see that they can make that the company, that their job, but that they're getting paid. And here, here's the here's the fucking absolute hilarity of how these companies and all work, and how these these corporations build on this. That this person's sitting there, and it's like, my wages, shave four p. And that's what they're doing, and they do it to themselves. That's what we're all fucking sitting doing. We're all sitting doing that to ourselves. And then once all that's all, all accumulated, right? It goes to somebody else's database, right? And then that person goes and overlooks it all, right? And sees a big tally of a fucking, say, five thousand pounds or whatever. Five thousand pounds has been saved from. The penny pension. That's that's what they see, and they go, our corporation or our company of, we we rip you off workers, is has ripped off workers five thousand pounds, for the last month, and shaving pennies. And they're sitting there, the accountants are sitting there going, happy days, and the CEOs or executives are going, that's a bonus for me in my back pocket, and the 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 accountants sitting going. Yep, I shave my own. I shave my own money off of my own, um, my own bank account when I'm getting paid. Uh, it's just because I I cannot I just like it's just plain as day. Like I don't get why is why people do this shit to themselves. It's it's meant. It's I don't get it because you have to be. It's not meant to make sense. It's not meant to make sense. We ruin it for ourselves by making it not make sense. Why do you think you have so many options on the Fortnite screen when you're buying skins and stuff? Why do you think there's so many different options for Xbox Live? So many packs or whatever? Why do you think there's so many like different uh, payment options? Like on a, on a game in, in the gaming industry for loot boxes and stuff and all why do you think all that exists it's to confuse you it's to keep you thinking oh i've got a 5p cheaper here and it's got a 10p cheaper there and i've got a, a pound cheaper there it's it's not it's all the fucking same all the money goes up but we're convinced at the bottom just it's like living uh it's like It's like living in absolute fear, right? That's what we're doing. We're living in absolute fear. And convincing ourselves with the illusion that it's not happening just because of the fear. That's what we're doing. Convincing ourselves it's not happening. Uh, I really need to get... what. The Hall of Legends has loads of jobs as well for me. Or work. Gotham. Ah. Uh, there's it. Prime. On duty call. On duty. PvP. PvP. Damn it. Sixty. Where's that? Metropolis. Are these all on call? Like, I don't have to go anywhere? I just sit here and jump in and out of these fucking instances or dungeons or whatever? Sixty. Yeah, they're all on call. On duty. Might as well go and do the apocalypse ones in. 60.
Uh, I, I said I wouldn't be doing this about the the corporations and the company stuff and all because it's not what I talk about. It's not what I'm in. Like, it doesn't get you anywhere sitting bitching about this stuff. You know, nobody cares. Nobody wants to know that you're you're fucking you're broke. This is the reality. Big Dark deal. side picked the wrong town to mess with. Gotham's tougher than it looks. Raids tab to continue for apocalypse. Fuck's sake. Quick play on duty menu to complete one or, one or two player runs. Omnibus. Do the omnibus. I not have a mission there. Old Gotham. No, I have something in Old Gotham. Gotham Wastelands. Gotham Under Siege. Another Gotham. Chinatown. Thought I had something here. Oh, there's a deconstruction. Help prevent sub avatars from spreading through Gotham by taking one down. So we'll go to here. Go to this. This is solo. The tier one. Subway. Do not select it, no. Just select it for me. Yeah, well, Soul Reaver Legacy Kane's out, the remaster, for Soul Reaver 1 and 2. Good luck with that. Same as the PlayStation Pro. Load of fucking shit. Software can sort all that out, but they don't want to do it because they just want to charge you for it. That's the reality. Look at my fucking loading screen thing. Where is it? Forces are invading the facility. Next horse.
Right. What? There's one left. Turret reinitializing. Lex core targeted. LexCore is Repeat. jamming me out and hacking the turret control consoles inside Star Labs. Use the consoles to revert them back. You definitely want those on your side. Looks like we got company. Get them! Turret reinitializing. Lex core targeted. Turret reinitializing. Lex core targeted. Classified materials registry. Harvested from government technology after the Cadmus incident. Mm -hmm. Superman. There are three EMP pulsars around the lab. I'll distract Luther. You set one off. That'll temporarily short out his armor. Then we both attack. I'm counting on you to have my back. You know I'll have yours. Ready? Maybe this will teach you to stay out of my business, you self-righteous alien. Your attack on Star Labs ends now, Lex. You don't own these exabytes or Star Labs research. We need those to defeat Brainiac. Hurry! Lex's armor is shorted out. Attack him now! Damn! Those EMPs are playing havoc with my defensive systems. Hurry! Lex's armor is shorted out. Attack him now! Damn! Those EMPs are playing havoc with my defensive systems. We must defeat Lex before the EMP field is purged. I have better things to do than trade punches with you and your flunky, Superman. Killer rule.
What's a wild card? Tank. I need to check over my gear to see what what strengths I do have. What did I have in there? This? A 9 booster? Classified Materials Registry, an immature form of unknown species recovered by Batman from a crashed alien ship. You did it. Lex doesn't like to take no for an answer, but so long as you and I are here, he has no choice. Great work, and thanks. That was that. Why can I hear a clue somewhere? I think it's over here. Is it up here? Or is it? Star Labs Metahuman Research Arm, Super Hearing. Superman ready? Go! I hear, uh. Wait. Well, that can't be good. on the border of Kondok. It's Black Adam. Sorry, Professor, I need to alert the JSA. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. And I don't know who these other ones are. And that one there says it's Cersei or something. <sighs> I like the the art style. Art style is very like I like that. I don't know how to describe that art style. I don't know the, the, the correct terminologies or whatever for it. That should help even the score. Oh, some nice gear here I could get. Some gloves or a belt or something. Boots. Mask. Pass oh, 30. Maybe save up a bit before I buy anything. Weapon rate in 94 in the belt. That one hit 75. Okay. I'm 
sort of getting the hang of it, of what's going on here. That's a teleporter back to you. I should have used the other thing. Where's it taking me? Headquarters. Central hub. Okay. Right. Change that. Put that back on. I was supposed to be using this or this. The bank. I've got one of them in there. No, I haven't. Not the same thing, is it? No, different ones. Gives me a wee bit more room there. Because uh, you can put the... Your... What do you call them? Resources in there. And I suppose we'll put this on. And use it. And that's just to sell stuff. Yeah. Or some sort of, uh, what do you call that? Auction. Don't know what I just used there, but it's used now, so... What's that? Uh, requires seven stabilizers. Right. See, uh, when it comes to the, the your bag space, if it isn't organized, you're you're gonna try to difficult trying to get the things where they are. Obviously, for start, but when it is organized, you can sort of like see where your space is to sort of work with it, rather than it being like Tetris trying to dump stuff into it. And anything that's consumable like that there is fucking pointless in keeping. That's that's how you work it with it. Nice. So next stage we we didn't do pre help prevent sub avatars from spreading through Gotham by taking one down. Pull back brain X sub avatars from the rest of Gotham City. Find one and bring it down. Old Gotham. So if I go to my map, 
Can I go to... Is there old Gotham? Which Gotham? How did I get to old Gotham? Where's old Gotham? Back cave. Things to do there. Central City. Gotham Wastelands, Gotham. It's in alph is it in alphabetical order? No. A B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. Where's old Gotham then? On duty. Well, you just have to get it randomly. Old Gotham somewhere. Doesn't let me do anything. It just says, uh, it just. I just start the queue and it puts you into one of these two tiers. So you don't get an option of what instance you go into, it's just. just tells you what's on the list. So good luck getting that done. Back to uh, Apocalypse then. So the Cursed Gotham as well is another one that was additional. So if I go over there, I I wasn't really good at, at I wasn't high enough level or whatever or combat rating. Can I do these yet, or is this still Is locked? a mission journal a tool? I say yes. Now then, Harley needs help wrecking things. And aliens. So many aliens. Those hell spores are bad news. We're going to stop them from being collected and deployed. Report to Harley. Let's see her again. Alright. What shape is she? It's not too bad, it was a model. For the style of this gameplay, you know. They have went with the ace suit, or whatever you want, the ace of cards, or whatever you want to call them. Ace of spades. Although they can't even get the friggin' animation right. It's difficult to see her through that. seems alright, but I, I personally like Mr. Miracle. That's me personally, I like Mr. Miracle. I like his, what he's about and all. Obviously he's, he fights dark side and stuff. Hey, someone who won't yap about power tools and socket sets all night. This night's getting better already. Let's go break stuff. That's it. Is that all I'm getting? 
You know what we get to do? Kick butts and blow stuff up! Can you think of a better thing to do on a night like this? I sure do. Terror. It's one of Darkseid's favorite tactics. His forces will go after the citizens of Gotham. It's up to us to protect them. What's the bombs it's all about? It's the bombs part of it too, yeah. I'm Barda. I like Barda too. What's the matter going Barda? Big like Barda. Yeah. What have they done to her? That's all right, I suppose. It's not too bad. Scott was wise to send you. Let us deliver Gotham from this evil. That's right. She doesn't call Mr. Miracle Mr. Miracle. She calls him Scott. I will fight the forces of Apocalypse until my dying breath. Join me. Together we can defend this city from their evil. Yep. Who we'll find Nightwing is this one? Got a job for you. You'll be working with Nightwing. He's one of Gotham's best. Yeah. Is he? Is he really? One of Gotham's best? Like Nightwing's to replace Batman? And he becomes... No. His son? Good His to see son you. becomes Red We're going after their information and technical resources. Let's get to work. What's up here? Destroy a few uh, air vents. Oh, you won't be able to breathe now. Or you won't be able to cool down or warm up. Here 
there's an interesting fact. There's a story about like, cyborg, a player who did cyborg. Um, it was because of apocalypse technology. Cyborg. What was the other one? Alien race was apocalypse technology. What was the other one? So it's really wanting to save him something or something. Trying to save the world and end up coming integrated in the Thank you for saving me. Can I get out? Test Apocalypse, yeah. Wonder what the bad guys version is like. So exciting. The villains. Well, except for the almost dying part. You know, do you help Apocalypse? Take over the world! This was my tenth time as the captain this year. Next one is free. That's not like what evil corporations want to do. You saved my life. Take over the world. What we're we gonna do today, Pinky? Same thing we do every night. Now, what we're gonna do Pinky is free. What we're we gonna do today, Brain? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. That's why they stop showing I do a lot of reading as a captive. This year, I will. Thank you. I thought it was over.
good as the top of the building. The 12 more. You Turn to Nightwing. I done it, boss. I done it. Hear that? Done, done That's it. the sound of fortune turning in our favor. Thanks to you. Yeah. Liberation. I'll do this one. Uh, equipment. What did I get? What did I get, boss? Mask and trinket. Let's go. Let's go. There's another one. Go beat up the bad guys. Things here. That was what we doing. the big guns. Harley Quinn likes the big guns. She likes the big, big guns. Sandwich. The Big Belly Burger up town is still open. Let's get some victory eats. Oh yeah. Tank roll helmet. Done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Liberation. What's over here? Return the bot. Bot. I like big bot. Choice between Harley Quinn and bot. Let me see. 
I think Barda will be a bit more rough and uh, awkward because she. You have my respect as a warrior. Trust yeah. me, that is not easily earned. It was an Harley honor be, to fight beside you. Harley would be a bit more crazy and hard to deal with. While Barda would be a bit rough and like hard to get to the bedroom. <laughs> like she'll be. If she says no, it means no. Harley, on the other hand, says when she says no, it actually means yes. And then you have to be careful. And when it say when she says yes, she's got something planned. You're like you're in trouble. <laughs> Tier two. Tier six. Ugh, fucking neck. Mm. Yeah, sit up straight. So you can get fucking straight in the seat. It's a busted seat. Let's go to explore my travel. I thought I already done the Gotham one. Guess we're going back to Gotham then. What is that place? Is that Rajal Ghoul's place or something? Or? Whose place is that? Whoa. Right, uh, where's it taking me? Go here. Now, where's the exit? Thanks for the backup. Oh, now I get it. Powers. Uh, characters with combat rain. So these two are controlling 
for a tank, and this one's damage with superpowers, and then this one's controller tank too. Right. Um, what's my what's in my backpack? Use this. Gloves. Dominance. This exabyte was warped by genetic ma manipulation of Apocalypse and can be used to fortify your Mega Rods. Which one's the Meg? Mega Rods? Is that the same? No. Idle, restoring. Not that. Not that. Mega rods. Aha. What are these do? Mega rods, super dam or damage for super powers. What have I got on damage for super powers too? Additional gear choice from bosses in Justice League, cursed on duty missions. Three might power weaponization. Same again. Hat trick, lunar blessing. Row two can require more powerful curse skull from episode vendor. Place this in a lower augment socket to increase your stats. So how am I supposed to go and speak to here? Oh, Booster Gold. If you ask me, Booster Gold. Robinson Park is kind of creepy these days. I'm not afraid of demons or anything like that, but I usually prefer to have a picnic without them. Hmm, this could be a potential marketing opportunity. Booster Gold's Demon Be Gone sprays and aerosols. Next one was a Metropolis, wasn't
Right, uh, next. Let's question my... Not allies. Uh, traits and loadouts. And question this robot. So, deploying a hovering security drone to assist in battle. While in combat with your robot, sidekick alive, your passive power regeneration is reduced. Passive bar power regeneration is reduced. Hold the robot sidekick button for three seconds to banish it. Hmm. So, your passive power regeneration is reduced. But what would replace it? Flaming balls at your enemies, damaging your target and nearby enemies. Engulf yourself in flames, damaging and knock down any nearby enemies for a kind of sharing aurora. That damages nearby enemies. Another shield. Ignite an infernal aurora on your target, dealing damage over time. Enemies that wander too close also take damage over time. While in combat with your robot sidekick, your passive power regeneration is reduced. Same thing. Burnout. Explode with thermal energy, healing yourself and gaining immunity to control effects for a short time. Provide immunity control effects to you and up to seven teammates. Immolation and in flame or the same. Encounter some flames protecting you from damage for a short time. Nearby enemies that attack you will be burned, taking damage over time. Tank roll greatly increases your shield value, however, shield absorbs 35% damage taken. Doesn't offer that on tank roll. Knocking down nearby enemies. Scorch the new media area, damaging and knock down nearby enemies. Erupt a searing flame on your target, damaging nearby enemies. Instead of taking additional damage, burning targets heal you a small amount. Hard to choose. Blast your target and nearby enemies additional attacks. This target may cause it to explode damage to nearby enemies. I don't want any of the big powers because you can use the smaller powers more.
It's different when the robot permanent. Well, these abilities are only temporary. You have to keep renewing them. It's sort of a bit like Warframe as well, where the abilities are temporary. And they have a time limit on them, and you have to increase them with your 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 mods. While in this here, it's with your exabytes. Ignite the area near your target, creating a field of roaring flames to damage nearby enemies. Is it challenged, or is it just straight away? That's much better. And I don't see a reason why I have to have B on the on the right trigger permanently on health when I could put health on that additional menu. Oh no, it's not going to see. Increase the power of my mega rods. What did I just change there? I had something on there. That just threw me all off. What the fuck just happened? Let's see the other one. It's rank zero as well. Damage, damage. What's the super rods, rods do? Health and weapon rating. There's one there. Catalyst for milestone. Why is my augment changed? Was a hundred others oh, it there? Let's tidied up uh, Metropolis. Sometimes it just disappears. Your select menu selection just drops off. Doesn't let me select, it just drops off, and you're like, where, Where'd my cursor go my, for selection?
What's this? War coordinator. Will you aid the core? Sinestro's army of fear has smashed down an Alpha Lantern near Lex Core Tower. The green power batteries left from the battle should revive him. Do not delay. Sinestro is already amassing his villain allies. I don't do PvP. Not because it isn't fun, but because it's fucking, uh... It's just not... You can you can never get it balanced, it's never gonna work. It, it doesn't work with the, with the game. If I jump to my penthouse, then I can go over to the objective. I have a lot of new things to stick in the penthouse, but uh, I'm not going to sit and mess about with it at the minute. I'm decorating. I'm not spending time doing that yet. Is that Mirror Master or Mirror Man or whatever you call him? You can attack with somebody. I don't know who that fire guy is. Still like the art styles in the loading screens and all I like. Good time to come up with ideas in my own mind. Uh, come on, buddy. What? Can a guy catch a break? I guess not. Doctor Faint. The goddess Circe speaks. You fear Trigon's power? Perhaps you think him too strong. Coward. You and your sad little sentinels don't stand a chance. The balance is tipping fate. Watch your step. Server shut down in 30 minutes. Hmm. Just need to hold this. Why? Can a guy catch a break? Supposed to be costumed freak. An important historical find in the field of syncretism. These clues are everywhere. I am Jack Ryder, and you are wrong. Why? Because the goddess Circe is on the scene. The queen of mean, the mistress of malevolent magic, the dishy grand dame of deceit. This is the lady who battles even Wonder Woman for the power of the gods. Think she won't lie, cheat, and steal to gain every might of magic for herself? You are wrong. Prepare to take a beating from the unstoppable Captain Cruel.
you are victorious! My thanks for doing what I could not. Now the long path of my atonement lies before me. Representation of the diversity in Metropolis, Mannheim's Chinese theater is a beloved part of the city and home to rich cultural offerings from gallery exhibitions of cultural beauty to dramatic performances of modern theatrical masterpieces. The theater itself is a dark cavernous room with large plush seats and the faint scent of magical mayhem. Huh. Sorcerers like Felix Faust. He's thousands of years old, and he sold his soul to demons not once, not twice, but dozens of times. We should get this guy to run the economy. Now he's in Chinatown stealing souls to conquer the flame of life. And if you think his magents can't steal yours, well, friend, you are wrong. Double, double, toil and trouble. Abracadabra will burst your bubble. Originally a technological Khan artist from the future, he betrayed his fellow rogues in an effort to gain actual magical powers from the demon Neron. This is Madame Xanadu's Occult Curiosities, a magic shop where you may enter freely, unafraid. Ancient secrets lie behind each of the rune-covered books that line the store shelves. Well, that's what they claim anyway. I, Booster Gold, just wanted to purchase a magician's hat. They must have been out of stock. <laughs> so I sort of figured out... Um, how do you tidy up the bag, the bag space, uh, and use whatever's in it? Uh, figure out the on duty thing and the quests where I spend most of your going to spend most of your time on the on duty menu. And I want to tidy up all the, the additional quests. I did it in World of Warcraft where I literally had no quests. Literally no quests in World of Warcraft. And that's that's an achievement in itself. There used to be bad guys over here, but I don't... Oh, the Shen Li Po Gardens of Chinatown are known for their exotic beauty and scenic seaside view. I, Booster Gold, find gardens are great for sitting in while waiting for someone to ask you for your autograph. I usually bring an entire box of pans because you can't be too prepared. Ha, <laughs> very good. All right. There's nothing here in Metropolis I need to do. Well, I'm not going to get a chance to do anyway because the server's going to shut down in 25 minutes, which is at 2 o'clock, isn't it? So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to over hand this in. I'm not going to do any of the PvPs. So I don't know how to dump these or abandon these. Get, get rid of them quests. Let's see, let's ask the old Google machine, like the mighty Google, if it knows. 
DC Universe online how to a ban dawn quests how do you abandon the quest there's no way to delete quests from your journal but why would you want to it's not like there's a limit to how many quests you can have like in the world of warcraft also completing some quests leads to feet points good point I, but it's because it's PvP and I'm probably never going to do it. That's my personal reason. I'm not going to do PvP. I have no interest in it. At the minute, anyway. I don't know how far this game stretches into PvP or all the, the end game content or whatever. But I like it for the open world, and the, that's what they're working on. The, the, that's what Apocalypse is about now, and uh, I have to still do. I've still got a lot to do and figure out in this game that I don't know about. Um, Gotham, cursed Gotham City, or whatever. I've still to do Dark Gotham or whatever. Still got all that to do and. Uh, I still to do the villains side of things. This is just the. the su I'd probably not be much different, but I'm trying. Like. This is Booster Gold again. I hope you enjoyed your visit to Chinatown. I've always believed that it is the heart of magic in the city. But for the controls, the controls are as, as good as you're going to get on a controller. You know, it's it's not going to be magical, but for navigating through it, seems okay. And it's like, it's not... There's the odd time when you sort of get off base. That's what's happened to me. And the other day, where I was, uh, I was like pressing buttons and I was like, what am I doing? And not paying attention. Form of rotations. Let's call it rotation where you select certain attacks because they're on cooldown and you work through them and just rotate. Locate and defeat Minotaur and Metropolis. Have I not already got that? And then there's this one again. Hello, I'm Booster Gold, and this is the Booster Gold Exploration Adventure Series. This adventure will take you to the headquarters of the Science Police, Metropolis Division. As I say, I've got all the other links, check all them out where across my channel. Uh, there's, I keep pointing out about two main things. Uh, my additional links, which is called Steam, Steam, uh, Stream, sorry, I keep calling it Steam, Stream Labs Link Space, that's what it's called. It's the same as Linktree, if other people are aware of it. Um, it gives you all the different links that I've put on there. I've also got at the bottom. I've got CEX Instant Gaming or I uh, Instant Gaming and CD Game Keys. They're not for me affiliate. I'm not affiliated. I am doing this here just the link for the links for them for different ones. Um, I have to take CEX off the link tree or the link space. Um, rank the other one is Rank One Global. Make your own profile. Uh, with all your library of your games in it and it's like a Facebook for games you can go over and check out what everybody else is up to you can you can add clips you can uh, add all your different games as I say you can do a write up of each game there's a search for, there's hundreds of millions of thousands of games on it you can search up and find out about different games um, it's connected to IGDB which is International Gaming Database, I think you call it, is the the short term for it. I also have a profile on that, but I don't, I haven't worked on it. I I, I stick to Rank One Global. Um, IGDB is great. It's perfect as well. It's it's far more vast and open when it comes to 
gaining different wee accolades, if you want to say, like different wee things, feats for commenting and joining in in the conversation. Rank One Global also has Discord that everybody's involved in. Uh, I also have the Reddit link down there if you want to check it out. Uh, it's just always based on gaming and the latest stuff in gaming, like for Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remaster. There's the Evercade stuff, and a lot of people chatting obviously on Reddit because it's a massive platform. Uh, all the links I have on Linkspace, including the, the websites for this, for DC Online, DC Universe Online. Uh, the other games I played, Genesis Alpha 1, I haven't played in a while. Uh, Aliens Fireteam Elite, Warframe is a big one. Um, the Surge is definitely a Dark Souls but futuristic exosuit game and it's really aggravating. I have to get back to it. Seeing this here is just going to be jumping in and out instances or dungeons. I haven't got to, uh, I'm supposed to be at level 60 as it says here, 70 or whatever, but I don't feel that I'm, that I'm strong enough to be doing that stuff. Rank 1 is probably the best that I'm doing. I have been doing obviously level 88 or whatever it is, or Apocalypse Force 37 because of the free boost, as I said at the start. All the stuff I was going to look at in here. Just changing the colour of the suit. And upgrading. Doing the exobite upgrade, getting under understanding that. That was another one. There's nothing I can put in there. It says they're rec recommended for damage. Doesn't say anything. Characters with combat in 437 can acquire more powerful Mega Rod from the episode vendor. Harley Quinn vs. Apocalypse on duty. So it's just running in other instances. It's telling me there to, to put a, a tracker on one of the quests. Um, it, Mr. Gold has me going around and checking and exploring. So, I would like to keep doing that. There it is there, I'll put that one on. Ah, oh, well it's telling me now there are 15 minutes on, you can see in the chat. Or no, you can't see the chat. The chat's telling me to... And it's got 15 minutes. I guess I'm done here. Oh, also getting these allies. Don't know how to get these yet. Patriots, allies. I don't know. Do, do you get these for beating raid bosses or something? How do you upgrade them? With them points or them tokens? Few things I still don't understand or get yet. We're getting the grasp with it. Did my level just drop from 70 to 69 now? <laughs> I don't know. That again, I don't get it. I'm I'm sort of pleased with this outfit at the minute, the colours. Sort of. But here we are. This is it. My rant about what's going on in the world or the corporations I always say game your content if you're making videos or on Twitch or YouTube or whatever it is you do you, you work on you, you work on your goals that's how you're going to get ahead in life if you do not continue doing that you will end up um, in a position where you're doing something you hate or you will get stuck in a cycle or rut or whatever it is, you should keep working on, even if it's a temp, most things in the workplace or whatever you're working on, take about 10 minutes. 
So even if you take it, it takes you so long. I, I'm I'm talking to myself when I'm saying this too. If it takes you all day, 24 or not 24 hours, uh, 16 hours of the day, and that last 17 hours of the, hour of the day is is to do 10 minutes of work with your 15 minutes at the end of the day to put a post up, go on to Twitter. I'm on Twitter as well, so I'm by the way at X. Um. I appreciate any of the follows, as I say. I'm happy to take any bot follows. I don't care. It just looks... The numbers increase. Well, at least... Again, what these companies do is they do... They have bots as well. They pay for bots. They pay for advertising. They pay for fake advertising. They pay for fake uh, viewers. They pay for fake everything. And they have no shame in it. So why should you? Why should it matter to you? They take any money that they can possibly get their hands on. They'll, they'll treat people... In, in the worst way possible and smile at their face in, in front of their face that's what these people do when you're working you do it all day every day but for, as I say you do you and work on what that it may be if it if it's just trying to get this picture and make it as best as you possibly can and starting on it for the 10 minutes is the start of the progress and 10 minutes each day becomes 50 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, or 30 minutes, uh, to 45 minutes, to an hour. And that's the same as the workplace. The workplace gets you to do 8 hours, but they get you to show up for more than 12. Or about 12 hours. So you feel like you're doing 12, 16 hours, but it only takes 10 minutes to do the work. So those 10 minutes of the day that you're doing... Whether you're in a factory putting parts into a machine or sorting packages or or it's all going to be crap or delivering packages. The work itself is driving if you're delivering and the work itself is delivering the package. That's, ten, that's not even two minutes. That's what it's all about. And that's the same for every single thing. I'm, as I say, I I'm talking to myself about this, but I'm also um, pointing out that that's that's what that's the reality we live in. Ten minutes of looking at something, or or no, sixteen hours of looking at something. Ten minutes of doing the work, or sixteen hours of doing it and getting and feeling like you've made no progress. But in between those and each hour, it's been ten minutes of doing, or five minutes or two minutes of looking or reading, reading a book, uh, looking at a screen. Uh, Call centers are the worst for it. You're sitting looking at the screen all day. There's 10 minutes before we're shutting down. Call center, you're sitting looking at the screen, taking a call, taking a call, taking a call, taking a call. That's that's it. You're not actually doing anything. Like we're like I'm doing right now, sitting talking. There's no, there's nothing in it. That's what all workplaces have. There's, uh, and the money then goes into your bank account. And they feel as if they're paying you for doing nothing. Which you are doing nothing. You, you're not making any productive progress in your own personal life. And to the person that's paying you, they feel as if you shouldn't be getting any money anyway. So you might as well, if you're hating doing something like that, or you're hating whatever workplace it is, or you're 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 screaming uh, every single day trying to get out of, the, out of work because you have to go in, find those 10 minutes... Of whatever it is, once you get home, even if it's just to sit on the sofa or sit on in your house or whatever it is, and meditate, spending those 10 minutes meditating to try and gather your thoughts and control yourself is more productive, is a thousand times more productive to you personally than the amount of things that you do to get into work and come home or whatever it is. Uh, I personally enjoy reading books. I personally enjoy playing games. Uh, I personally like. I, I, I uh, pointed out to these things in life that, uh, that is very difficult for other people to understand to, to see. Even for myself, I'm like, it's not. It's not as if I see it any different. I, there's times I, I'm not. Nobody's. Nobody's going to have. Per, no one's perfect, and everyone knows that. Everyone knows you're not going to be perfect, but it's a goal to strive for not something to say that you're going to get to it's something that you can strive towards 
Imagine that perfection is never going to be reached, but at least you can strive towards that of what your goal is. The perfect day, the perfect, uh, the perfect life, the perfect uh, body, the perfect uh, uh, workplace, whatever it is that you, that you, the perfect work that you produce, the perfect amount of money that would, you know, when I say money, it's it's far more difficult because you're not going to get that as easily when it comes to reality. Like, you need to, that, that's what all the personal, personal work is supposed to be for. Because then, say like, it, you want to be a person who does interviews on, on the internet, like a podcast or something. Just start doing it for yourself like I'm doing now. It don't, I don't even care about this. That's the G, all these ones that do all this stuff, if you actually pay attention to them, they berate people, they, they talk down to people, they, they say they say nasty things, they, do, they don't care. They don't want to be doing it. But then the next day they might go, ah, oh, I don't mind doing this. You know, it's, it's, everyone has their up days, down days, different moods, swings, whatever, and all. No one is perfect. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, is the video has been done. The, the, the photograph has been taken. The, the book, the, the book title has been created. The, the, um, the meditation has been started. The, the research has been, has been, has been looked up. You know, you've looked for it, uh, you know, even if it takes you two seconds to look it on Google, you have started that progress and it will not leave your mind until you can clear everything else on your personal mind and calendar or whatever it is to focus or even even if it's not focused and it's all a mess, to work up shaving that down until you get to where uh, lifting the pen, the paper, the pencil, or whatever it is to draw, or whatever the artwork has been started. That's what it is. Ten minutes at best. Ten minutes. There's there's hundreds of millions of people that have pointed out over time in the health industry that ten minutes is all it takes in the health and well being industry. Ten minutes. You've got the mental health ones, you've got the, the physical health ones, the the ones selling the nutrition stuff and all. Ten minutes is all the work. And if you if you can't even find that ten minutes, two minutes, ten seconds is all it takes as well. Looking up that their photograph that you wanted to to draw as a portrait or or uh, that character you wanted to create in a book that you wanted to be or you want to be or or adding that link for your affiliate 10 seconds on on your random web page somewhere on reddit or whatever it is or twitter you know that's it that's all it is it's don't make it more bigger than what it is or me uh, maybe i'm wrong make it bigger than what it is and Make it like so big that you can't get your hands around it, and you're never going to understand it. And but if you don't take that and actually spend the two seconds looking it up on Google or whatever it is you want to do, then there's nothing produced, and then you're back to the same routine again. Because you can do something you hate for your whole life, or you can do something you love, but you're still going to it's still going to get on your nerves. But it, it's better to look back at something you tried to love than something you did and looking back and saying you hated it every second of it. So you might as well make the effort to try doing something that you love than something that you hate and you're still doing it. Just imagine how much energy you could spend on something you love and the amount of force that you're using an energy on the workplace or whatever it is, on the thing you hate. 
I'll leave it there. I, I don't know what else to say. Take care. Game your own content. Look after yourself.